Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're making a strawberry shortcake, a classic dessert. I think this dessert will really end off summer really well. It's super simple to make, guys, too. It's nothing to it. Um, I was filling those dessert shows and cool up at the store. But I was like, I can do that way better. I love to bake. Any chance I get to have some cake, I'm going to do it. Also, this recipe is called for biscuits. You can do biscuits if you want to do it. But like I said, I love cake. Any chance I get to eat cake, I'm going to do it. I'm going to eat it. But let's get right into this recipe. It's real quick. won't take too much time. Let's start off by prepping our strawberries. So strawberries, been washed and cleaned already. Some people like to use a spray, but I honestly just put them in a bowl of water and then add some baking soda, some vinegar, and let them like fizzle up, clean it. You'll see all the dirt get removed. It's kind of an easier, cheaper way to do it. But nonetheless, take it, grab you a small bowl as well, tether to the side, and we're gonna dice them up. You can do however you like it, but I'm gonna dice them up so that when you put them on top of the cake, they really kind of like sit there. I don't want big pieces either too when I bite into it. Um, like I was saying last week, you wanna think about how your guest is gonna be eating these and make it as easy and convenient as possible too. You don't want them struggling. Um, but nonetheless, we're gonna dice our strawberries up small. It's not gonna be perfect, obviously, but I'm not gonna be super anal, but I just want smaller pieces than these. And then you just set them in a bowl and you knock out all your strawberries. Funny enough, um, when I first started this channel, I had a Japanese, uh, I had a Japanese strawberry shortcake recipe and I was gonna post it, but that thing it tasted really good but the icing that was my first time really kind of like icing a cake and it just didn't look as good as i would have liked it to so i never posted it so now it's coming full circle a little bit easier of a recipe too um, i think this can be duplicated extremely easy nothing to it so we're going to chop them up dice them up and then once we're done i'll show you what to do next and as we get down to the last strawberry this is a perfect time to just work on your knife cuts Get really good, get really fast. Do you. Don't rush yourself, you don't wanna cut yourself. But the last one is chopped. Wipe down that cutting board. Wipe up your mess too, right? Man, we'll push that to the side. Y'all don't see that. Okay, we got our strawberries all diced up. Now we're gonna let them macerate, which is just putting sugar on and lettuce in the fridge. And this is gonna dry out all the sugars and just all that moisture in the strawberries. And then I just swirl it around, give it a toss. No arm rhythm to it. And we're doing this first so we can just let all those juices, give it time to let those juices come out. So when the cake's done, everything is ready to go. Looks like I will need a spoon. Scoot that back. And then ooh, I'm dropping them. Bang. And then over the next 20 to 30 minutes while we get the cake all set up and baked, the juices will come out. You can have something great. So cover this, put this in the fridge. Let's get started on our cake. Getting started on our cake batter, we need a bowl, obviously. The first thing we're gonna start off with is butter and sugar. And we're just gonna cream this until light and fluffy. So everything is combined. You'll see it change colors, doing something like that. Don't rush a step, take your time. And like always guys, the measurements will be down in the caption below. So sit back, relax, enjoy the show. I got y'all. And you can either do this by hand in a stand mixer, or I'm using a hand beater. Plug this in, I probably should've did that first. And now you just wanna give this a nice mix. I start off going a little slow, just to get everything incorporated. And we see it right now. Not much color to it, but you'll see it. It'll get nice and aerated. And this will really help the cake stay light and fluffy, not be too dense. Turn it up once it gets incorporated a little bit more. I love baking, I love shortcake, I like strawberry. I make a really great Tres Leches cake too. I might have to bring that to the channel. But let's just let that beat come all together. And a big thing, guys, I want to point out. All my ingredients before I start baking is already incorporated. I do this because it gets hectic in the kitchen, you know? Time flying. You don't want to be trying to grab an ingredient, when, especially when baking, because everything is crucial. You don't want to have to start all over again. So I like to have everything pre-measured so it's real quick. And I suggest you do the same. I promise you it'll make your life way easier. Bang. Okay, cool. Now, let me show you why I know that this is ready. So, as when I pick it up and look at it, you can see it, but when I press it, it's light, it's fluffy, it's aerated, all right? That's how you know. If it still feels dense, nine times out of 10, it's probably not ready. Now, the next ingredients we're going to add 
It's just a few things. We got eggs, buttermilk. I don't know why I put this way across where I can't reach it. And vanilla extract. So you can just go ahead and throw all this in. Extract, I love vanilla extract, it smells good. Eggs. Eggs, I got eggs for 67 cents down here in Arizona. Isn't that crazy? I stocked up on eggs. And then last but not least, buttermilk. And now you wanna mix this till combined. Start off very slow, don't wanna make a mess. Just beat this until very well combined. Okay, so now we got it mixed up. We're gonna do a couple things. We're going to put a sifter down. We're gonna add the rest of the ingredients, which is flour and baking powder and baking, uh, not baking salt, but salt. We're just gonna sift this in. This will help. You don't have to do this, but I think this will help give the cake lump free, have it as smooth as possible. Oh, speaking of that, preheat your oven to 350 because that's where we're gonna be baking it. And then once you get down to like the little balls at the bottom, I always just press it through with my fingers. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but that's how I do it. And then I say, screw the beater, and I bring out a spatula, and I always like to fold it in just so I don't make overwork the cake and it gets too dense. But just start from the bottom and come up. Start it from the bottom now right here, and then just continue to incorporate all that in until it's well hydrated. A super simple recipe, guys. Look, I think the hardest part was cutting all the strawberries up, really. But you can also do that ahead of time. And it's pretty thick too. It's not a loose batter. It's not like super thick, obviously, but as you can see, it definitely sticks to the spoon. And once you see about no flour left, that's how you know you're pretty good. You got a little bit on the edges that I'm gonna incorporate in. And make sure you get the bottom of the bowl too. Everybody needs love. Let's just make sure that everything is well incorporated, light, fluffy. Look how beautiful that looks. Bang. Pretty simple. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is get our baking dish. For me, we got muffin tins. Like I said, guys, you can use a baking sheet, a baking pan if you want. And we're gonna grease this up with one thing. Since the fat in this recipe is already butter, I'm just gonna stick with it. If it was oil based, then it'd probably be oil. This is butter, get you a stick, and then, uh, that's kind of messy. I wish I had a, do I have something like that? I don't, but that's okay. Instead of having it, make sure your hands are clean guys, like always. And I'm just going to grease it like this. Put your hands in it, grease all the edges. And this is gonna keep everything from sticking. If you wanna spray it down too, which I probably will, be my guest. You can never be too safe, right? Now we got this greased up, bring your thing back. And I'm getting a little scooper just so I can make them about even sizes. See how much fits in it? So we'll go one, two, one, Two, two, let's see if they still come out even. We're gonna find out. Two, you don't wanna fill it all the way to the top just in case it rises over and then you have, you really have a muffin top. Nobody likes muffin tops. Okay, and then I'm gonna like press it down and see how much more can probably fit in there. We'll probably get another scoop all the way around. Not much batter left. So we'll do half scoops actually. We're looking good. And then now I just tap it off. Get everything out. And then grab a napkin or a towel, whatever you're using. And then I like to just go ahead and clean that. Any spots like this, go ahead and just get it off. Don't make a mess, right? Get it off. And then do one final tap. And now we just put this in the oven. This is gonna bake for about 15 to 20 minutes until a toothpick comes in clean. Like I said in the other cake video, if it comes in clean, comes out clean, it's gonna continue to bake and it might overcook. So I like to pull it out when there's just a little bit of crumbs left because then obviously it'll finish perfectly. Or you can do the finger test, poke it. If it springs back, it's good to go. But throw this in there and then we'll get started on the last and final thing and then we're eating good. The last thing we need to make for today, super simple, is whipped cream, okay? And with how I make whipped cream, there's no rhyme or reason. So this, I don't even know how much is left in here. Let's see how much it comes out to. Hopefully a good little bit. And you can use this, you can, you can make whipped cream with a hand beater, but I honestly do not feel like doing that. This is easy work. I can step away for a second. But, oh, that's two cups. Bam. So two cups of whipped cream looks like. And then attach your whisk. And then you just wanna beat this until, 
soft peaks and then we're going to add some powdered sugar just to make it a little bit sweeter um, but if you don't want to add any more sugar by all means you don't have to so let that beat we're going to beat that on medium high and then i'll show y'all when it's time to add the powdered sugar bang okay so now looks like we got soft peaks perfect they're kind of medium peaks but nonetheless it really doesn't matter and now we're just gonna add powdered sugar i don't even know how much this is i'm gonna eyeball it probably like a tablespoon or two and then if you want to add more add more this way you can just taste to your preference it's no biggie now try it like i said if you want it sweeter sweeter if not i want it to be a lot sweeter than that so we'll go ahead and add the rest of that in it and then like always i think just adding a little bit of salt to baked goods really gives it some nice flavor as well and what you can honestly do too now that i'm thinking about it add a little bit of vanilla extract probably have a teaspoon okay now give this a mix bang now i know for sure this is ready to go nice fluffy oh yeah that's it okay so now we can set this to the side and then we'll wait for the cakes to come out i'm not gonna lie the cakes i may put too much in there so i'm watching it really closely i hope it doesn't overfill but if not i'm sure what to do no biggie but yeah how to let y'all know that take my advice don't fill it too much like i did so i'll see y'all in a second all right so our muffins cakes have came out beautiful they did cook a little bit longer than expected about 25 minutes but we're still good still looks delicious so i have a parchment lined baking tray right next to me and all we're gonna do is try to unmold them now i think this is always the scariest part you know it's pulling away from the edges so that's looking good you know what we might just say and just turn it out honestly Okay, that's what we're gonna do. So, take them, let me put these gloves on because I will burn myself. Take that. Like I said, breaking tray right beside me. If I had a wire rack, I would, but my wire rack actually is out of commission right now. So, what I'm gonna do is place this, making that way more complicated than it needs to be. So, place that. Where is the tray at? Okay, I'm trying to see if it's too hot. I can burn my fingers. Fuck it. Ready? One, two, three. Ugh. Okay, now, this is the moment of truth. Oh, my heart is racing. Ready? One, two. Oh, those look beautiful. Wow. That is gorgeous. Dang. Look at that. It's jiggly, it's soft. Sheesh. I was nervous. Real, real talk, I was nervous. All right, we'll put this to the side and let's build. All right, now that we got that, let's bring back our beautiful whipped cream. Nice, fluffy, gonna be magnificent. And I let them cool down a little bit too so the whipped cream doesn't melt as soon as I place it on there. I'm trying to make a cornell. I don't know how they do that. You go down and now you just wanna place that right on top of it. Do a good little layer. Place that. Bang. And then you're gonna make you a nice little pad for those strawberries. Coming. Strawberries look great. They're juiced. They've been macerating for probably the last 45 minutes. Take a spoon of that. And now you just place that right on top. And bang. You got a nice, beautiful strawberry shortcake. That's gorgeous. I don't care what anybody has to say. I love that. Bang. Okay, bang. I don't know if you can see the cake anymore, but we're about to try this, about to eat it. It looks good. I was scared for a second because it was like 15 minutes coming by and I was like, these are nowhere near done. So I was like, did I fill it up too much? But I didn't, I didn't. I had to have some confidence. That's all it was. 
Let's bite into it. Mouth is watering. I love sweets. I love desserts. This is so simple, but so elegant at the same time. It's versatile. Okay. Ooh, that cake is nice. It's fluffy. Oh my goodness. Get some strawberries on it. Come here. Curate that perfect bite. Oh, don't fall for me. Don't uh -uh, Don't run. Bang. Mm, that's good. Cheers. Wow. It's so light and fluffy. The whipped cream is sweet. The strawberries are sweet. It's really good. I have no words for this. But wow. <laughs> this is really good. It's super simple too, guys. You could have made this into a cake. I chose muffins just to kind of replicate that dessert shell. It's way better with whatever I got at the store. I can tell you that for a fact. Goodness gracious. Make this yourself. Try it. Get into your baking bag. Baking is easier than what people make it seem to see. It is almost like a science, but I promise you it is not that hard. With practice, you'll be good. Like always, guys, I appreciate all the love and support. We're doing this. We're running it up. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Show love. Comment what you want to see next. I'll be running out of ideas. But without further ado, I'll see you next week. Peace.